Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with a stock swoosh, and I'm reviewing Google. This was another option trade I called in the letter on the Gap Options newsletter. And if you're interested in subscribing to that, it's an annual letter, and you receive the trades to your email, and you take the trades when you get them, and then you manage them yourself. And I'll give the strike, the call, the expiration date, and you have to watch it. And typically, the way that I've been calling the trains is just straight calls or puts. And I do it using my gap rating method, the Golden Gap 26 point rating system. I rate the gap and I call the trades. So this was this was probably the biggest call of this week. And I don't know if everybody did it because of the price of it, but it definitely paid. It definitely was a huge one. And very often, Google, Amazon, these ones like this, they are kind of pricey. But if I see something that a decent price, I mean, I'll, I won't hesitate to call it. And to be honest with you, even though this was a little pricey, it was still very well worth it. Uh, these can really move. And they don't really even need to have a monster move to end up paying a lot. And that's just because they're very heavily traded. The stocks move a lot in a day. Um, and the options change do too. I mean, there's a lot of volatility going on in these charts. I'm talking about the high flyers, Google, Amazon. And these things we wouldn't normally day trade as an equity trade because of the price point. Not that you couldn't. You could. You could if you wanted to. Um, but I think it makes more sense doing them as options. So anyways, long story short, if you're interested in the options newsletter, it's $49.99 a year to subscribe. Well worth it. Now, let me give you an example here for this one. This was just a quick one out, expiring on the last day, which is the 18th, which is tomorrow. And again, this is a short week. But when you're doing these, Google, I think the shorter, or Amazon or any of the ones, but the shorter you could do it, the better because of the price point to get them at a reasonable cost. Um, anyways, this you could have gotten for 13 14 At one point, it was down around 9 something 10 something So your price could have really varied a lot in this. But it ended up going above 39 almost got to 40 Obviously, today, what did it do? It gapped up. So here's what it did. I mean, actually, this is, gosh, this, you know, I do like this chart a lot. I have to look up and see really when the when these earnings are for Google. Uh, I'll look it up tomorrow. But I mean, this is just a really nice chart here. And you know, when you're when you're looking at something again, I follow institutional money and I rate the gap. And so here it was. This was the move on Friday. This was a move on Monday. Called the trade, gapped up, gapped up, boom. So I called the 1,200 calls expiring tomorrow. And yeah, it got. $40 plus over it. So that's why that's why the option, because again, there really isn't much time left here, but it was so far through the strike. That's why this almost went up to 40 today. So obviously today was the exit for the people that did it. I had some nice emails today for some people that made well over $2,000 in it. And again, you know, even though it would have cost you, and I'm just giving you an example, if you had bought one contract and if you had paid 13 for that, it would have cost you $1,300. But guess what? You would have been able to sell it today for $3,900. So, and, and again, I'm just using one contract to be very reasonable for people. So you would have, you could have made $2,600 in one contract in this. I think that's what the email I got from Zen Trader. She had gotten one. But it, the point is that even though this might have cost $1,300, it still was well worth it because look at the turnover so fast so quick within 24 48 hours to be able to turn it around and make over two grand so nice move here and even if this had gone sky high which it very well could have but the market drug itself down today market drug its feet today in all the indices in my opinion but if the market had gone gangbusters today which it could have it might this would have been worth even more this would have been worth 50 60 whatever this would have been a 1250 so it was still a good call <laughs> a good call that was a huge profit that could have been even better that wasn't even the dream target is my point and that again is the benefit of trading some of these high flyers because they can move they can really move and when they really move they really move um anyways have a great day everyone and if you're interested in the gap options newsletter again it's an annual newsletter it's one year subscription it's 49.99 a year have a great day everyone email me at melissa the stock if you're interested in signing up